A3L is a new kind of propellant. It, uh, it differs from the conventional propellant in that we have a liquid oxidizer instead of the usual solid granular oxidizer, and our binder is a solid granular material instead of a liquid material. Uh, other ingredients are similar, of course, like aluminum and uh, burning rate additives. And I guess one of the major features about A3L is different is that it does not cure by a chemical mechanism. It cures by a physical mechanism. The major thrust for working with A3L is that the propellant doesn't generate any hydrochloric acid when, uh, when it burns. And right now there's a tremendous push by environmental people uh, to get rid of propellants that generate hydrochloric acid, particularly for shuttle launches because they're afraid of what it'll do to the ozone layer as well as the environment immediately surrounding the area where the rockets lift off. One of the characteristics of this propellant is that it's much harder to ignite than regular propellant. This propellant takes something on the order of three minutes in a kerosene fire to start burning, whereas our conventional ammonium perchlorate-based composite propellants ignite immediately. It's very resistant to spark ignition, we cannot ignite it with spark, we can't ignite it with friction, and impact sensitivity is about, uh, uh, takes about two to three times the impact to set this propellant off as it does a standard composite propellant. So this is serendipity, it turned out this way, the propellant just happened to have these characteristics and uh, works in our favor, particularly for large boosters.